Hi, and welcome back to our channel where we talk about all things weddings. And today I thought it would be great to talk about the four most essential vendor types that you definitely do not want to skimp out on for your wedding. Now, when I say four most essential vendor types, that does not lessen the importance of any other vendor type that there is out there. But these are four vendor types that if you are struggling to fit things into your budget, I highly recommend not skimping out on so that you can enjoy your wedding day as best as you possibly can. And to start off, the first vendor type is your caterer. Yes, I have seen families try to DIY catering on wedding day and I do not recommend it. That is a huge undertaking. Back in the day, this may have been a lot more common when weddings were upstairs in the chapel and there were light refreshments downstairs, but cooking a full meal for 100, 200 plus guests is a lot. It is a huge undertaking. And there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that you may not be privy to. For example, they are bringing in warmers and reconfiguring how the kitchen is at your venue. Um, they are bringing a full staff that's busting tables, managing the dishware, whether it's real china or disposables. They're, they just do a lot. Most catering kitchens do not have a full size oven for your caterer to cook in. Um, a lot of times they are preparing the food and bringing it to your wedding venue and they know the rules and regulations of how that venue has to be cleaned. They're there to bust tables. They're bringing in an entire staff to manage the dishware, whether it's disposable, whether it's real china, you name it. Um, and going with a restaurant caterer is a great option as well. It does work a little bit differently. So I do recommend to ask that restaurant, what do they do and what do they not do? in comparison to an event caterer um, when you're getting quotes and, and reaching out to caterers and restaurants. Um, know that they may not do everything that an event caterer might do and you may need to hire a few servers to help with busing tables and the cleanup process and things like that. Feeding 100, 200 people is a huge undertaking and it takes a lot of people to make that happen. Um, now your second, um, essential vendor is your photographer. You might have a family member or family friend who does photography, but I do recommend having someone there on your wedding day as your photographer who is experienced in the wedding photography world. They are really essential for how your day goes, going into your ceremony and going into your grand entrance into enjoying the rest of your reception. Um, they are there for high stress, high emotional moments on your wedding day from family photos to first looks um, to walking down the aisle. So definitely super important to have a photographer who is accustomed to how weddings go and can maneuver things, keep track of your shot list and capture everything that you want on your wedding day. Um, but to that point also, your wedding photographer is so important in the sense of being a friend. Um, you definitely want someone who you feel like you could be best friends with after your wedding day because they are going to be there for those very intimate moments. And you want to be able to hang out with them and feel like you're having a good time and they fit into the photos that they're taking of you and your friends. Um, so definitely, I highly recommend someone who is, you know, experienced or has worked at least a wedding before, whether it's second shooting um, or being the primary photographer. So. Photography, super important. Now the third vendor type is your DJ. And this is actually one of the most DIY friends trying to fulfill this role job that I have experienced on wedding days. And I cannot tell you how important your DJ is to the flow of your event. From going into prelude to send off, they are working alongside your planner on all cues that are happening, on helping your planner maneuver people from place to place, whether it's not obvious. Yes, your planner's job is to maneuver your guests from cocktail hour to your reception and dinner and things like that, but they are getting them up and on the dance floor and it's not necessarily that they have to be like the biggest hype man or those sorts of things, but 
that needs, it should be somebody who is familiar with the flow of weddings and how they go and can help move it along and keep the crowd engaged and, and, you know, like make it seem like it's organized and, and running smoothly from the guest perspective. Um, of course that's your planner and, and things change and maneuver, but your DJ is the entertainment that keeps guests entertained during that time, not your planner. So definitely DJ is super, super important. And we're having a DJ that's working hand in hand with your planner to keep the flow of your event going is one of the key items for your guests enjoying your wedding day, but also for your own enjoyment as well. And so that you don't have to stress about what happens next and all the changes that might happen as your wedding is happening. Um, now, of course, the fourth most essential vendor type that I'm going to say is your planner or coordinator. You definitely do not want to skimp out on having a coordinator. Um, they, it, they are just super important to your day being enjoyable for you. You can't be in 10 places at once. You can't deal with you know, your guests arriving an hour early, which has happened before quite a few times. Um, you can't, you can't deal with what's going to happen with all those guests. And what do we do when you're taking photos and you don't want them to see you in your dress or in your tux or suit or whatever it is that you're wearing before you walk down the aisle. Um, and there's things that happen. Things break, champagne glasses break. Um, you, but you shouldn't know about that stuff because your planner should just problem solve and, and think of a way to fix it or do something that is comparable to, to improve, you know, whatever comes up. So I definitely recommend getting a planner, um, or coordinator and truly having someone who is a go-getter and wants to do that. If they're new to the industry, it doesn't always have to be someone who has hundreds of weddings under their belt. Um, that, you know, some people just have that type A personality and, and some don't. Um, but definitely I recommend a planner because you just don't want to have to, to be 10 places at once and be constantly answering questions. You want to enjoy your day um, and enjoy your family and enjoy your friends and your guests who are, you know, spending money to come and, and celebrate you. Um, and yeah, I just can't stress all of that enough that we've just gone through. But to summarize, the four most essential vendor types that I would recommend, and this is not to minimize any other vendor type because they are truly all so talented and, and essential to the overall wedding. But if you are having to choose between which vendors do you really need, I would say those are your caterer, photographer, DJ, and a planner. If you have any comments or any questions below, we would be happy to answer them. Feel free to comment below. And if you have any topics that you'd love to get our take on, feel free to comment with those as well. Have a great rest of your day. See you in a video soon. Bye.